Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This article has to do with um, some Russian offensive uh, along the Dnieper River. And uh, there are some articles uh, out there stating that Ukrainians uh, liberated two villages and then they retreated and they lost two positions. So I'm not going to bother with those ones. The rest is, uh, well, the Russians attacked but we push them back. These are the articles that I, I find, but I found one that is a little bit more meaningful than, uh, you know, three doves died and five pigs ran away in the fields. So here is one from Fox News from today, August 4th, 2022. And this is the title. Russia rains 60 rounds of shells in Southern Ukraine as it ramps up offensive along the Dnieper River. I thought the Russians don't have the power anymore to do that, but what can you do? Fighting along Ukraine's uh, Dnieper River continues to escalate as Russia responds to, Ru to Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian advances by ramping up its shelling offensive on southern cities. Why cities? I just placed, uh, I placed, I made a video with uh, the Amnesty International report saying that uh, the Ukrainians something that I said before many times, seem to position their army around civilians within city limits instead of picking forests or locations where they can... Uh, so they dare locate themselves around civilians. So when the Russians are shooting after them, inevitably they're going to hit some civilians. I'm not defending them. Probably the Russians hit civilians too. Pff, pff, who doesn't? Mistakes are made or pur purpose, uh, you know, terror. That's war. I'm not defending war either, but I'm just saying that's a common uh, uh, occurrence during war. Good or bad, it is what it is. Like, you're not going to argue with, uh, uh, I don't know, nature because it's raining today and you go outside, you want to go outside and, I don't know, go and uh, sunbathe. It doesn't work that way. The same in the war. In the war are some rules that are the nature of war, crime, killing, destruction. So, Russian forces overnight conducted two attacks on the city of Nikopol, located on the right bank of the strategically important river, raining down on six, some 60 shells onto the city's electric infrastructure and private, uh, and private housing, regional officials said Thursday. The BM-21 Grand Grad, Grad the rockets, multiple rocket launcher systems, were reportedly used in the shelling campaign, though no civilians are believed to have been killed in the strikes. The Grad fire jet systems destroyed 27 private buildings. I'm telling you, these guys, the Russians, are either crime criminals, according to these reports and uh, articles, are either criminals purposely destroying residential areas, or you're just retards and they just don't know where they hit and they just it happens to hit the, instead of the military, Ukrainian military who has positions in the fields, uh, they hit, uh, they choose to hit uh, cities and towns and private houses. So either cuckoo or mm, which one is it? Or maybe both cuckoo and, cuckoo and uh, crazy, you know, like uh, evil. So it says here that uh, the dis damage Two private cars destroyed, damaged gas and power grid, damaged buildings and equipment of three local businesses. I hope they were not bars. In other 100, in over 100 solar panels, confirmed Ukraine's operational command south in an update on Facebook. The command warned Thursday that as Ukrainian forces make some advances in southern Ukraine, Russian shelling is expected to increase. No shit. And I'm quoting the situation in the operation zone of the south is complex and dynamic in development but the defense forces are keeping it under control well why don't you say the offense forces are destroying the enemy who's running the command said and i'm quoting again the enemy has no chance in the composition and position holds the for fortified boundary of defense the attack comes as ukrainian troops attempt to repel, that means push back, Russians from the Kherson region, 
roughly 130 miles south of Nikopol. Over the last week, Ukrainian forces have made some advances in the Kherson region by dis destroying several logistical routes that Russian forces relied on to connect their supply lines over the Dnipro River with the Crimean Peninsula. Now, the UK Defense Ministry has assess assess assessed that Russia is relying on at least two vulnerable ferry crossings now to transport its logistical needs across the river after the Antonovsky Bridge and the rail line were damaged by Ukrainian forces with the perfect U I'm saying perfect perfect US supplied high mobility artillery rocket system HIMARS Hurrah! The Defense Ministry said Thursday it believes Russian forces are now using pyramidal radar pyramidal re radar reflectors to protect themselves against Western rocket systems. So they use pyra pyramidal radar reflectors to protect themselves against Western rocket systems, but uh, Himar is going to do is going to is going to make it. Over the last week, Ukrainian, for Ukrainian forces have made some advances. Ah, okay, we got that one. The Defense Ministry said Thursday it believes Russian forces are now using pyramidal radar reflectors. Okay, anything else? The radar reflectors are likely used, being used to hide the breach from synthetic aperture radar imagery and possible miss missile targeting equipment the ministry said so they use those things to uh you know uh, uh how do you go to affect the radars and uh, the imagery and possible mi missile targeting equipment the ministry said in an intelligence update this highlights the threat russia feels from increased range and precision of western supplied weapons they adapt what i talk about yeah, if you come with that, we we'll have to adapt. Adapt. Of course, what are they going to say? Oh, we can't do anything about it. They got to do something. I don't think they just built that yesterday. I think those were prepared for by the Russians a long time ago. Since the HIMARS came into being, they said another rockets and missiles. They probably say, okay, how we can, what kind of, what options we have to defend in case the uh, enemy uses those. This, this, this. So they try all of them. And they end up with this as of now. Ukraine has begun to make some advances against Russia's military with the aid of Western supplied artillery systems like HIMARS. However, officials have warned these systems are not enough to effectively engage with Russia and cannot reach Russian forces firing upon Ukraine from the Black Sea. That means give us longer range. And why not? Give them longer range. Why do you control this war? I told you, this war is a very controlled war. The Russians are not hitting certain targets. The Ukrainians are not allowed to hit certain targets. Why is that? The Ukrainians are not allowed to hit within uh, Russia, even if Russia, the pro proper Russia, the, you know, the um, uh, Russian Federation. I'm not talking about the occupied territories. They're not allowed to. Oh my God, if you do that, we're going to hit you. What? And then they're not allowed to hit, uh, let's say, uh, Belarus, even if uh, the Russians use Belarus as a territory to take off with their planes and uh, launch some missiles. Why not? Why not? What, what if they do? What's going to happen? Belarus is going to enter the war? I mean, you hit me from a place where they tell me I should not hit. Let's just take it. What are you talking about? That's controlled. That's roadblocks that tells me as i said before those guys up there not ukraine blah, 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 not poland those guys which is united states and russia those guys are fighting a war and they communicate when they say well uh shoigu spoke first time with uh, austin uh, or milly in uh, four months or five months i don't believe that they are in contact and i think they communicate and they threaten one another and say if you hit here we're gonna hit here they make this kind of deals over there how how can how can that not be why isn't the russians why why isn't that the russians don't use certain weapons that they have a lot of them to destroy let's say kiev if they're criminals and race it to the ground including the control centers and zelensky's and Zhmihals and all this uh, reznikov's the group and so on why not if they're so bad and criminals because they can they can they have the intelligence necessary and they have the the weapons but somehow they 
for what? All right, so it's back and forth, it seems like, and uh, drained down with 60 rockets. All right, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. I, I don't like these articles because it's so, like, I don't want to say vague, but it could be lies, could be a lot of minimalization or maximization, you know, exaggerations, and I really don't like these articles. I like to look on the map and see where the war occurs, where the targets are hit, what targets, and then realize if this goes left or goes right or what's going on, who's pushing whom. Uh, they made some efforts, they made some uh, advances. How much? Give me some coordinates. Nah, because because the coordinates you can catch them uh, with whatever they say over there, I mean, unless people don't look and people don't look. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.